final junior men, weight category 54 kilograms. Judges, Tunisia, Croatia, Egypt, Kazakhstan, Serbia. Referee, Maria Kavalevia, Bulgari. In the red corner, please welcome from India, Yatin Yatin. So approaching the boxing ring ahead of this men's 54 kilogram gold medal bout in the bantamweight division is JT, appearing for his fourth bout of this championship is the 15 year old. Split decision victor over his opponent from Russia at the semi-final stage. From Kazakhstan, Nurasil Tulube! His opponent is Kazakhstan's Nurasil Tulubek. Appearing for his fourth bout of the championships, comes to the ring as the 2023 Asian Junior Silver Medalist from the championships in his homeland just last month. He lost to Amantur Jumayev, who claimed 52 kilogram gold here the first day of gold medal action in the 13th session of boxing. So both boxers from powerhouse IBA boxing nations each of them represented by 26 strong boxing teams, a boxer in each of the 13 weight classes for men and women. Final check of the equipment. Both boxers called to center ring for the final instructions. Get up, not holding, not low, low. Listen, my command. Shake hands and good luck. Box. So we're underway then. Gold medal action in a 54 kilogram bantamweight division between boxers from India and Kazakhstan. The orthodox boxer wearing red who just got through with a flashing left hook is JT, 15 years of age. His opponent wearing blue operating out of the southpaw stance is 16-year-old Nurasil Tulebek of Kazakhstan. Current continental junior champion having won three contests out of four in his homeland to come away with that second spot at the Asian Junior Championships which concluded last month. You can see the difference in stature, but there's the looping shot once again used by JT to score on the open chin of Tulebek. Terrific right hand once again from JT. Got himself into range behind quick feet and landed a right hand that was altogether more direct than the looping shots he's employed so far. Look at the man which is able to close the distance. Rapid feet, right hand to the body, followed by a looping roundhouse left, which was partially blocked by Tulebek. But this has been a very dynamic start from JT wearing red. So trying to dominate centre ring and keep his opponent on the end of straight punches is the taller boxer Tulebek. Able to find his range on that occasion. Surprised that JT wasn't looking to work away at short range. You can see from the type of fast twitch fighter that he is. And he seems ideally suited to operate at short and mid-range in particular. And look at how he's able to close the distance at long range. Fantastically fast feet into range once again. Right hand, left hook, then spinning away. Looking for that overhand right once more. So Tulebek has had pockets of success, but on a disengagement, he's picked off by two right hands once again. Right hand forward. Well. 
few love taps exchanged after the bell to conclude the first round. The first round where, for my money, it was JT who was the more effective boxer, neutralizing the greater height, range, and reach enjoyed by Tulebeck. And was able to launch with raiding attacks. And Tulebeck had successes of his own, but he was able to close the distance from the other side of the ring, seemingly JT, and land at mid range in particular with his overhand right and occasional hooks as well. Let's take a look at the scores with two minutes in the book. Well, it's a clean sweep of the cards for Nurasil Tulebek. I think JT is really unfortunate there because I thought his raiding attacks were enough to see him take that opening round. So into the second round we go and look at the man come sprinting out of the gate from the red corner. JT having conceded the first round unanimously, really increasing the urgency. While the sound of the bell was still reverberating around the arena, JT helped himself to a thunderous overhand right. That string into rabbit punch territory with a slap from JT. But credit to him in the red corner for changing the tactics, but then just becoming a little bit disorganized. Tulebeck in pursuit of him. But JT is really going to have to pick up his work rate here. And have we got an injury? What's the problem? Oh, it's the dislodge. The mouthpiece has been dislodged from Tulebeck. The manner in which he was looking at his elbow. Wondered whether he had sustained an injury. Thankfully, nothing that serious. And the mouthpiece reinserted immediately by his corner. So Tulebeck tying up his man on the inside. Neither boxer able to score. Left hand to the body was effective from Tulebeck. JT looking to launch two shot salvos once again. But the accuracy not what he intended. There's another right hand partially blocked by the gloves of Tulebeck, who scored during the course of that exchange. JT keeping the attack going. Lands with a corkscrew right hand. Flailing fist from both boxers once again. So Tulebeck keeping his pressure composure under fire and able to score with pecking, poking punches as the two boxers came together. Tulebeck using good footwork, that's a beautiful counter attack. Right uppercut just penetrating the guard and then overhand left and right jab from Tulebeck. Tulebeck edging forward, just looking to control the space with his feet, lands a good left hand to the body. Digging away downstairs is JT. Overhand right is a slapping shot landed by JT. Physical encounter to conclude the second round. While well, having conceded the first unanimously, JT, to his credit, did try and up the tempo, but this man was very cool, particularly in the pocket and had success with nudging punches of his own to both head and body. But it was JT who was pressing, taking the contest. Here's an example of the composure under fire demonstrated by Tulebeck. Difference in potency of the punches landed, but make no mistake, Tulebeck continuing to pile up the points during the course of that second round. JT responding effectively, but has he done enough to take the second round? I'm not sure that he has. And it's a 3-2 split for Tulebek. So JT rewarded for judges one and five from Tunisia and Serbia. But because he's only tied it up, because he's only taken it for two of the judges, that means he needs a massive final round here now. Because for judges two, three, and four, with four minutes of boxing in the book, Nurasil Tulebek always a trip to the canvas but it's been ruled a slip by the referee but for judges two three and four Nurasil Tulebek of Kazakhstan has a 20 points to 18 lead whereas due to the rally that he was able to produce in the second round with increased urgency JT has tied it up for judges one and five and he continues to go in search of that overhand right out of the orthodox stance 
So that means JT needs an enormous final round to even get back to parity. Had he been able to edge the third round on a 3-2 split as Tulebek has success with his southpaw left. Before a clinch over near that corner. But had JT been able to edge the third, the second on a 3-2 split, it would have put an entirely different complexion on the third and final round. Wasn't quite able to do it, but still that will not deter him in his pursuit of victory. But Tulebek getting onto the front foot now. His round, his overhand left was a looping shot. JT's landed backhand landed because it was far more direct. Well, lots of holding punctuating this third and final round. JT spoken to about failing to keep his head up. Tulebek looking to dominate the space of center ring by getting on the front foot and back up JT towards the ropes. And again, here, this is where JT's got to be working away. Difficult, of course, when your head is outside of the ropes. But Tulebek, well, he's done enough to ensure that he hasn't lost this final round by the 10 8 margin that JT required. Two slapping shots landed by JT in the closing stages. But it will be Tulebek who will be declared the victor. It might well be split. A very competitive affair indeed. And again, I thought JT was really unfortunate not to get anything from the first round where his overhand right and raiding attack weren't rewarded by any of the five scoring judges. He conceded that first round 5-0 on a unanimous sweep of the cards for this man. Rallied in the second round to concede it on a 3-2 split did JT. But by not taking anything from round number one where I thought he boxed very well indeed, that is part of the reason as to why Nurasil Tulebek is going to be declared as the world champion here. Let's get the verdict. The of this bout by split decision is the boxer Blue Corner Nurasil. So Nurasil Tulebek, a 4 1 split decision victor over JT of India. Wonderful to see that sportsmanship between the two boxers at the conclusion of the contest. But Tulebek, Nurasil Tulebek of Kazakhstan adds world championship gold to the Asian silver that he collected in his homeland.